Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Jeff Koppel again, realtor and general contractor. Um, had a recent situation where I represented the seller in a transaction. We had a buyer that submitted an offer. And then as the process usually goes, they had an inspector come in to inspect the property. And we ended up getting a an inspection or a re repair request from the buyer to basically replace a working HVAC unit. So I thought what I would do is just pull up the snippet from the inspection report so you can see exactly what the inspection report called out. Okay, so here we go, where he's talking about that this was a two-story dwelling, had two units. Uh, one unit had been recently replaced. The other one was original to the house. Um, so if we go down through this, basically when an inspector does an inspection, he's going to be doing a different, what's called a differential inspection. What he's going to be doing is, is testing the uh, degree difference between the output of the unit and the intake of the unit. So that's where these numbers are referenced here. So the normal range as specified here is 15 to 23 degrees different. So here was the upstairs unit basically 22 degrees difference, and the downstairs unit, which was 18 degrees difference. Now, the thing that concerns me about this is both the upstairs and downstairs units are in compliance with the temperature differential, 15 to 23. What bothers me about this is his little additional note here. Additional notice from the inspector. It is the opinion of the inspector this component may be functioning as intended or in need of minor repairs. You should be aware that this is an older component and the future life expectancy cannot be determined. And the old unit uses Freon 22, which is no longer in use. But then he goes on to say, you can continue to use and service this component until replacement is necessary, upstairs AC unit. So if we look back at the temperature differentials of the two units, the upstairs AC unit, which is the older unit, is actually outperforming the new unit in terms of temperature di differentials. So the issue I have with this particular inspection report is, number one, he's marked it as deficient, even though everything is working within specs. And then what really bothers me is this additional notice from the inspector. This is a subjective comment, okay? The only thing that he really says here uh, that is any truth is yes, Freon R22 is no longer in use, but there is a substitute for R22 that is still in use. He leaves that out. So basically what happened uh, with this, as a result of this inspection, the buyer got scared and the buyer decided that this was a, a issue that they wouldn't, they wouldn't budge on. Um, my seller, was equally opposed on the other side of, you know, I'm not going to replace a unit that is working. So unfortunately, this is a situation where uh, the buyer got cold feet because of the inspection and canceled the, the contract. And so, you know, it was kind of frustrating for, for me, uh, the buyer's agent, the seller, <laughs> you know, all kind of stemmed from this inspector's uh, additional notice of the inspector. You know, my thing is, I have no idea what this inspector's background is. I don't know if he has any HVAC experience. Uh, you know, there's just nothing really mentioned here in terms of his uh, qualifications to make the statement that he did. And again, like I said, he, he within his tests, he shows that everything is working according to spec. So, um, but, you know, this is one thing that uh, if, if you do get an inspection and there's things you don't understand, I would be more than happy to, uh, you know, explain situations like this and, and kind of, you know, because this is information that most of the public won't understand, you know, even though it's right here in writing, what, what does all this mean? You know, I can tell you what, what this means. Basically, everything is functioning as it should. So regardless of age. I mean, heck, the brand new unit that you put in could fail. I mean, there's manufacturing, uh, you know, problems. The, the compressor could go out at any time. I mean, it's something made by man. It, it can it can have problems, you know. And 
Uh, the the option that we presented to the buyer was okay if you're uncomfortable about the old unit, you know we can do a, a you know basically a home warranty, and just nothing that we offered was uh, you know was able to salvage the situation. So anyway, um, inspections are a good thing. Uh, I'm not trying to say that uh, inspections are a bad thing. There's different uh, qualities of inspection, and you know like I said, I think. In this situation where, uh, you know, equipment is functioning as it is supposed to, to do a subjective comment or an additional comment, of, you know, this particular inspector's uh, opinion, I, I think that's a little bit, it was a little bit reckless, uh, you know, especially considering we don't really know their qualifications, uh, you know, other than, you know, they've got an inspector's license, but that's kind of a general license, uh, but Anyway, I just, th this is a, I guess, just a, a pet peeve that I see quite often and uh, it, it kills otherwise, you know, acceptable deals, um, you know, that, that happen from time to time. So anyway, if you find, you know, if you're a buyer and you're concerned about an inspection that you might've received, uh, feel free to drop me a line, ask me a question. Uh, Cause like I said, being owner of a construction company for over 23 years, we handled all aspects of construction from first shovel on the dirt to last nail on the roof. Uh, we worked with all the different trades, very familiar with all the different uh, things that go into building a house and maintaining a house. So if you ever have any questions or if you have any uh, suggestions for topics that I can make videos of, go ahead and send your questions and ideas for videos to jeffkoppel at gmail.com. And time permitting, I'll be happy to create a video and put it out here uh, so that everybody can have it as a reference. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video today and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one.